The purpose of sewing on paper is to practice speed control as well as the handling of the item that you are sewing. In this case, it's just practicing on paper, um, but obviously moving forward, we'll sew using fabric. So the goal is to start where you would like to start or begin sewing, and then you have an ending point. So there's a couple of techniques that you're gonna use. I'm gonna show you this particular piece of paper because we are going to learn a pivoting technique as well as um, sewing straight and curved lines. Okay, so I wanna start at the starting point. So I'm actually gonna place my paper under the presser foot, which is this piece right here, and there's a window, so there's a little opening on my presser foot. So what I'd like to do is actually line up my paper in that window, as you can see here. So once I know that it's underneath the presser foot, I'm gonna lower, I'm gonna have one hand on the paper and one hand lowering the presser foot, so that way I see that line in that little window. I can lower my presser foot all the way down and then use my hand wheel to place the needle down into the paper. And now you are set up because you know you are sewing in the right spot. So now I'm gonna place my hand, my left hand to the left of the machine. And then some students like to place their hand to the right. You just wanna make sure that your finger is not underneath this needle clamp. Otherwise this will move up and down with a needle. You don't want your finger to go here or be underneath of this and then the needle clamp slam down on your finger. So just be careful or aware of that. So you can have one hand over here or I like to place one hand in front of where my needle is on the bottom of my paper. So then I'm going to use my foot pedal to then sew until I get to my ending point. As I approach my first corner or the end of this straight line, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna put both feet on the floor and use my hand wheel rotating towards you. So your thumb should be moving towards you. So that way I can stop right on the corner. Try to get as close to the corner as possible. Again, we're not gonna ever be sewing on fabric lines. So just get as close as you can to the, the, the paper line as possible. So my needle is down in my paper. I'm gonna lift my presser foot up. It acts as a placeholder. I'm gonna rotate my paper, line up my line on the paper with the front of the presser foot. There's a little line on the presser foot right there. And then when, when I know that that is directly in front of me, I'm going to resume sewing. I'm gonna slow down as I approach the edge again. Make sure my needle, needle is down in the paper. If you think you're in the corner and then you go to rotate your paper and you realize, oh, it's not lining up, you can always lift the presser foot back up, rotate it back to where you had it, and then you can Move the needle farther one stitch if you realize you haven't gone too far or far enough. Slow down as you approach the edge. Use your hand wheel into the paper. Make sure the needle is down. Lift up your presser foot and rotate. The fabric that it, or paper in front of you is going to be sewn through the machine. So you always want to line up what you are sewing in front of you. Usually um, you have extra fabric to the left of the needle as well. You won't have extra fabric this way because you don't have a lot of space from the needle to the arm of the machine. All right, so the next thing is curved lines. So I'm gonna place my needle in where I would like to start and then I'm gonna slowly sew. The trick to sewing around curves is that you are slowly sewing. And I'm actually rotating my paper, so I'm turning my paper this way as I am slowly placing my foot on the foot pedal. Another technique you can use is your hand wheel. So I'm gonna lower my needle into the paper and you could actually lift up and pivot slightly. So I'm using my left hand to kind of move the paper slightly as I'm using my hand wheel. It's just gonna take a while because using your hand wheel is a lot slower or you can rotate. If you rotate as you sew, you want to sew slowly, so that way you're not ripping your paper. Okay. And then um, you can also pivot around straight edges like that. Once you're done, a neat trick is to flip your paper over and you can actually see all of the stitching that you have completed. It's kind of hard to see on the front with the lines and that is paper sign.